Hey guys, even here. So we have an interesting post of Patrick Moore. It's a back shot, just back relaxed. And it does look pretty damn impressive. I mean, it looks like he actually added a lot of tissue. I don't think he was this massive from behind last year. And this back does look very, very impressive. Very good. I mean, look at the, the slabs of meat under his arms. I mean, the, the lats are really massive right now. The whole back, the whole back looks really full, really thick, really round. You know, very meaty, like there's a lot of muscle, a lot of density, a lot of thickness, it's popping at you. So, it looks like a good back, right? But he does look really lean, like too lean. And that's something I've been talking about for the past couple of weeks, uh, after seeing a lot of posts of him where he looks really lean for the off season. I thought, why is he not getting any bigger? I mean, he cannot really grow if he's getting this lean. Yesterday, he posted a photo where his abs are looking absolutely shredded, like he's getting ready for a show right? And it was all clear to me after I saw the description of the photo, actually the emojis, so he added a knife and a sand clock emoji or hourglass emoji, however you want to call it, and uh, what, what this means, basically the translation is he's getting cut and time is running, so he's getting ready for something, for a show. And then I checked the comments and there you have it. We have a confirmation from Patrick Moore that he's gonna be competing this year uh, opposed to what he said. So he originally said he's not going to be competing until 2022 before he adds a significant amount of mass, but apparently he decided to change his plans. So the question here was, are you competing this year at all? And his, his answer was, I'm competing this year. So yep, Patrick Moore is actually prepping for a show. It all makes sense now. I mean, I was really criticizing him for being so lean in the offseason, but apparently he's not in the offseason, he's in the prep, but he was keeping it a secret basically. Because he has been dieting for a long time now, I mean, it's been a while since we saw him leaner and leaner and leaner after a post, and he never really said anything. The other question here in the comments was, as you can see, wh when is the next show? And his answer is soon. Yeah, soon is a relative term, so he could be referring to this year, that soon, I mean, not next year, this year, that means soon, or he could be talking in a few weeks. There are shows coming up in, in a week, in two weeks, in three weeks. So we'll see which show he's gonna pick and do. I'm guessing it's gonna be one of those shows in a couple of weeks. Why do I think so? It's because he's already ripped. He's already pretty much very close to competition shape. He has a couple of more weeks to dial in and that's pretty much it. That's gonna do it. So did he make progress from his last show? I think he did. Now it, it does look like that. And once he tuned it in completely for the show, it's gonna look much more impressive than this. So, I don't know which show it's gonna be, my little investigation showed it to us that he's gonna be competing this year, this year soon. As soon as I find out which show it's gonna be, I'm gonna tell you right here, so subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. And Patrick Moore right now looks great, I can't wait to see him on stage and hopefully much improved package. Is Patrick Moore really close to this level of muscularity? at this level of a bodybuilder, I mean, does Patrick Moore has what it takes to beat these, these freaks, these, these mass monsters? Does he now? I don't know, I don't think he's this big. Yeah, Justin Rodriguez right here is five days out of New York Pro, and he looks absolutely great, so he had to fill up, carb up for the show, probably, I mean, maybe he went without it, but I'm sure he did a little carb up, and now he's depleting, and he's gonna be carving up again, so, I mean, there are different kind of bodybuilders. Some bodybuilders, they look the best at their first show. And the other bodybuilders look better every next show. Which one is uh, Justin Rodriguez? We're gonna find out very soon in five days at the New York Pro. But at this point right here, he looks huge. He looks big, thick and shredded. I mean, look at the Christmas tree. Uh, look at the glutes. Very peeled. So it's gonna be between him and Nick Walker as far as I can see right now. Not Hassan Mustafa. I have an update of him. I'm gonna show that to you as well. But look at his back here. I mean... He has a tremendous back, really good back, and the glutes are also dialed in, so Trust Rodriguez is really dangerous right now. I mean, also coming off of a win at Indy Pro, he's kind of a favorite, right? I mean, uh, Nick Walker, how is he a favorite? I mean, the guy turned pro last year, had a pro debut last year, took forward, wasn't able to beat Justin. Justin has been a pro for a long time, he has been in the Mr. Olympia, he's a top 10 Olympian, he won another show this year, so he has a lot of momentum, but I guess... It's gonna be just between who, who looks better, <laughs> who is more shredded, who is bigger. These guys have kind of similar builds, not really, like, they don't have exactly the same body parts dominant uh, like the other guy, but they are, you know, they have similar structure, height-wise, size-wise, conditioning-wise, they're pretty close. 
it's gonna be all about the conditioning, I think. Who comes more prepared? And who is it gonna be? Uh, it's gonna be Nick or Justin? We'll see. We have to see it. But at this point, it looks like it's gonna be very close. However, Justin, at five days out, looks really good. I think this is gonna be his best year yet. He's already qualified for the Mr. Olympia. If he wins New York Pro, too then that's gonna be some momentum for the Mr. Olympia, so all the best, good luck, Justin Rodriguez. Or all of these guys are gonna be beaten by Blessing Awadibu. <laughs> he looks like this at four days out of New York Pro, and I don't think he's gonna be winning this show. To be completely honest, from the photos and the videos that I've seen, I would have Dwayne Walker ahead of Blessing, as I said in my previous video, so I don't see how, how Blessing was even able to get that third spot, so whatever the judges are seeing or what they saw at the Indy Pro, maybe they will see the same thing at the New York Pro. And for that reason, he will place higher than I would have him. But honestly, I don't really like his physique. Not really. Not very much. I liked it way more on his IG, IG photos uh, under that great lighting in the gym and uh, daylighting and stuff. But on the stage like this, not very... I don't like... I don't like me personally. I mean, whatever the judges are seeing here, whatever they saw at Indy Pro... Maybe they will see it too at the New York Pro and that's why Blessing will do well. But if I was a judge, I mean, if I was judging by the photos and the videos that I saw, I wouldn't even have him in top 3 at the Indy Pro and as far as the New York Pro, I don't even have him in top 6. But then again, we have to wait and see what he's gonna do, uh, what the judges will see. I mean, I'm not there, I can't really see it on the front row. I'm just judging it by the photos and the videos. So far, I mean, I didn't like what I saw on that stage. Again, I had Wayne Walker way ahead of Blessing, but whatever you guys think about his physique, tell me. Anyways, this is him right now at four days out, and I mean, I can't really say too much about this. I mean, he's vascular, he's big, he's round, classic Blessing of Audible. I'm guessing he's going to be the same uh, this weekend. Maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit worse, but pretty similar, and how well will he do? I would guess out of top six, top seven, maybe something like that. It's going to be a tough show, this New York Pro. But again, maybe something happens that I cannot really see from the photos and videos and he, you know, cracks the top four, something like that. That's best case scenario if you ask me, top four, after Hassan, Justin and Nick. But whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, so we have Hassan now. It's gonna be a posing practice with Flex Wheeler. I uh, actually increased the speed of this video because it's quite long, but you can get an idea. I mean, the quality of the video was really bad too, I don't know why. So, it's not me, it's, it's the video that I downloaded, it was like that. But, you can get an idea of what he looks like right now. The stomach is a big problem. It's really protruding. He's not even trying to control it, he cannot control it, he doesn't know how to control it. Uh, his posing in general, not very good. He doesn't really have a lot of confidence in the posing. Uh, that's something he needs to work on. It was a criticism that he received even last year. And I think he really did uh, a lot of work to improve it. Maybe Flex will help him a little in, in the last minute, but it should have been practiced a long time ago in the offseason too. So, the, the posing not that great. I'm sure Flex will be a great help, but is it going to be enough? No. Conditioning, conditioning, not good. I mean, I don't know how recent this is. It looks like, uh, judging by the description of the, of the photo, of the video actually, uh, it looks like it is recent. And if it is recent, he's not in shape. He's not in shape. I mean, that's it, period. Not in shape. He's gonna be fine though, because he's so big and so genetically gifted, so he doesn't really have to be super shredded, but is he gonna be lean enough to be a winner? I don't think so, I think he's probably gonna be third, after Justin and after Nick. So maybe next show, maybe another show he does later in the year, he's gonna actually get in shape, but right now this is not a good shape for a show. It's not, it's not. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna ask you what do you think, because it's obvious, right? Maybe it's not recent, but I've seen a lot of it, a lot of photos, so I'm pretty sure this is recent. He just posted this one as well, I mean, you cannot really see much, but arms, shoulders and forearms, you can get the idea of conditioning, but it's under a great lighting, and I think he looks too big, too full to be in a good shape. He should be a little bit more depleted one week out of a show or five days, so yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen. Maybe he decided to cruise, to slowly carb up. But again, conditioning, I don't think it's going to be great. Is it going to be good enough to be in the top three? Probably, because he has a lot of other qualities. Like, he has a top-tier genetics. But conditioning, once again, I'm not happy with it. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. And Akeem Williams, in the end. So, he's prepping for Chicago Pro, based on what Sergio Oliva says. 
and uh, he posted a for a video actually of himself posing and now we know for sure that that, that video that he uh, actually the photo that he posted wasn't recent now he looks like this he's in a good shape i mean for how many 10 11 weeks out and he is absolutely humongous the back though itself not his best body part i mean the lats are high but overall he has a lot of mass on it as much as he can pack he packed but uh, again he looks huge he looks in good shape 10 11 weeks out he has enough time to get shredded last year he was peeled so i'm sure he figured it out he's gonna be peeled again it's gonna be very hard to beat him anybody really not just sergio oliva i have him as my favorite to win chicago pro no not hunter labrada not sergio oliva i think those two guys are gonna be battling for a second and we have an update of sergio as well so let me show him to you as well yeah this is just him taking a shower at the beach and yeah it ain't much but you can get your deal what his body fat percent looks like and uh, how much muscle he carries and uh, he looks very aesthetic i mean the, the abs are looking very very good i mean the waist looks small uh, the arms and shoulders look round and chest as well so he does have the aesthetics and you don't really know how big this guy is uh, unless you see him standing next to the other guys because he's quite tall he has long limbs so he has a really large frame and it's not completely filled it can be bigger i mean he can actually gain more muscle on that frame he's not really reaching his uh, full potential but right now i mean this is gonna be a good package for sure even like this i wonder what the hell is he doing at the beach in the middle of a prep but if it is convenient for him if he can fit in his schedule sure i mean what is wrong with some sun tanning and some uh, in taking a little bath taking a little swim nothing wrong with that and relaxing a little fine if it fits your schedule nothing wrong with that and right now once again sergio looks pretty good is he gonna win chicago pro against akim probably not but you guys make sure to let me know what do you think in the comment section down below like the video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this subscribe to my channel all the best guys and bye bye